Hello everyone, today I'm just going to be showing you a short water marble compilation. So here I'm just painting my nails white and I like to start off with a white base for water marbles if I want the colors to be really vibrant and bright. But sometimes I start with the lightest color I'm going to water marble with if I don't really care about the colors being too bright and vibrant. And that also helps too with if you get air bubbles and your base color kind of shows through when the bubbles pop. So that can help also with that. But I'm gonna be using white as my base for all of my water marbles except for one where I use yellow. But I kind of wish on that one I used white as well but you'll see that later in the video. So for this first water marble, I'm going to be starting off with using China Glaze polishes. So I forgot to write down which polishes I use for this water marble, but most of China Glaze cream polishes work very well for water marbling. So if you have China Glaze polishes, um, just experiment and try out different creams to see if they water marble well. I'm just using a, a pastel purple, orange, and green. And I'm drawing a flower design. I kind of did this flower design weird. I'm also using my what's up nails water marble tool to draw the design and after I draw the design in the water I place my nails over the part of the design I want I dip them I take a q-tip and clean up the excess polish then I take the tape off I clean up around my nails and apply top coat I'm just repeating the exact same steps I did but I'm going to be dipping my thumb and I'm going to be doing a different design and I just wanted to show you guys that because I actually like this I actually like the design on my thumb a little bit better than the the flower design I did on my other four fingers Okay, so for the next water marble, I'm using OPI creams. And again, most OPI creams water marble pretty well. You just want to experiment how the colors perform in the water together. And I'm using a pink, yellow, and blue. And I can't remember what pink I used. But the blue is OPI Super Tropicalifugistic. And the yellow is I Just Can't Copa Cabana. And for this design, I was trying to do the very thin stripes, but I didn't really draw the lines as close as I should have. So you can see for this manicure, I didn't use white. I actually used 
the yellow as the base coat, which is why the colors aren't as bright and the blue kind of looks greenish. But yeah, this design was pretty much a fail for me. You can see my index finger is missing some spots where I touched my nail on my previous finger so it didn't get the design in it and yeah that wasn't my favorite so for the next design I'm using pipe dream polishes which is typically what I use when I do water marbles because they water marble really really well and unfortunately this company has gone out of business so they're no longer making nail polishes but I will still list the polishes that I'm using just in case you happen to have some old pipe dream polishes and would like to try this. I'm using Punch Buggy, which is the yellow, Positive Vibes, which is the pink, Keep Calm is like the minty blue color, Lava Lamp is the orange, and Peace Out is the purple. And I'm going to be drawing, I think this is called the star design, and then I'm going to be doing a swirl in the water and I'm gonna dip my nails after that so I'm just removing the excess polish in the water so it doesn't mess up the design and I'm also using my water marble tool to pop any air bubbles that are on the corner of my nails before I pull them out of the water and you want to slowly pull your fingers out and I'm going to repeat those steps to do my other two fingers I feel like I get better results if I only dip one or two fingers in at a time I definitely get less air bubbles when I do it that way and I get a better design because it's I'm able to actually center every finger which I can't do if I stick all four fingers in at the same time So I'm drawing the exact same shape that I did last time and then I'm going to start in the center and slowly swirl the design. For this look I applied a matte top coat because I thought these colors looked really good when they were matte. Okay for this design I'm also using some pipe dream polishes and I started off with a white base for this one. The white I'm using is called white water. The black is called Atrament, and the holographic black is called Moonbow. So if the polishes aren't spreading out as good as I like, I will just kind of shake the cup a little bit and it helps them spread. I'm starting off drawing the zigzag design. And then I'm going to draw that zigzag design in the opposite direction and dip my nails. And I'm dipping all four nails this time. So this one came out okay. I think it kind of looks like marble nails, black marble nails, but still that design really wasn't my favorite.
All right, so for this design, I'm using KB Shimmer Polishes, and this is an old collection I have, but I do know they have recently released a another collection that looks similar to this, and I've seen people use those creams to water marble, so those water marble pretty well. Um, but the green I'm using is called For Sale by Owner. The yellow is Rum Me the Right Way and the orange is called Lego My Mango. And the only thing about these polishes is that they kind of leave those little, you can see those little circles in the water where you can see the water through the polish and I'm not sure why that happens but you can't see it once I dip my nails because I try to avoid those areas. So I'm just trying to draw really small petals in this flower design. Again, I'm removing the excess polish and slowly pulling my fingers out and I do have a lot more air bubbles for this design so if you do get those little bubbles on your nails it's best to let your polish completely dry and then try to push those bubbles down before you apply the top coat because if they pop you're gonna see the white base color underneath which is gonna kind of look weird but it's definitely best to try to avoid those air bubbles if you can I'm trying to draw this the petals a little bit small this is this one didn't come out as well as the first one but it's it's fine you're not gonna get the exact same design every single time So here I'm just showing you how I remove the tape around my nails and I actually wouldn't recommend this because you have to be really careful not to stab yourself. But I just take my water marble tool and like slowly break the tape and then just pull it off around my nails. If you have small scissors you can just cut the tape and remove it like that. So that's it. Thank you for watching this water marble compilation. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like the video, comment down below which design was your favorite, and if you have tried water marbles before. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Have a good day. Bye.